How does it affect a marriage? It depends on the people in the marriage, but I think it puts a strain on a marriage, definitely. Because if one person gets ill, then the other person has to pick up the slack. You either have to sink or swim, and some people do sink, and some people do end up divorcing, and that's, that happens because it does put a strain on your marriage. Because if you married someone else, and then they become someone else, physically and mentally, then you feel kind of duped, almost. We've had to adapt our lifestyles uh, to, to, to live with Parkinson's, but we've never allowed it to kind of take over our lives. It comes back to the Christian vows that we were talking about earlier, about sickness and in health. So if you like, marry someone, then you marry them for better or worse, and you stick with them through the good times and the bad times. And there are good times. It's not all just doom and gloom. But you have to ride <coughs> the rough waves to get to the good stuff. You have to deal with the cards that you're dealt. This can happen to any of us. Mm. And if there's one thing that we have to give that person is reassurance and support that no matter what, you know, we will be by their side. When you tell people that your wife's got Parkinson's, I think they almost think, they associate it with someone who's quite old and they kind of, it's slightly dismissive. It's almost kind of, oh, she'll be fine. You know, there'll be treatment. I actually think there's a lack of understanding of what it actually is. I think what a lot of them assume is it's that, just that, that old kind of, it's, it's some shaking, mm. you know, and it's some tremors. And it actually is far, far more than that. And I think, a lot of people have, have no understanding of the fact that, you know, it is to do with the brain and the lack of dopamine. And I think there's a real need for education of all in terms of what Parkinson is, is and the impact it actually has on the daily lives of those it affects. Do you guys talk about a cure together? Like, is that something that's, that you guys really discuss? We've not really talked about cure. I think what we've all, always talked about is... More sustainable treatment. More sustainable treatment and just, you know, exploring are there... Alternatives. alternatives out there for treatment. I mean, we, we when Shamsa was initially diagnosed, we looked uh, for, for the opportunities for clinical trials. We considered alternative holistic therapies, and it's just about finding a a, a treatment that is sustainable and uh, that kind of gives Shamsa her quality of life back. We live in an age now where there are treatments, there are medications out there. There's research going on all the time. And I think people should have the, the confidence to, to come forward and say that, you know, I, I have Parkinson's, you know, I live with Parkinson's. It's not a death sentence. Yeah, it's not. You can still live a good, fulfilling life and have Parkinson's. And I think it's important for people to be able to come out and say that. How's it felt to be followed around by a camera? I find it slightly um, daunting. And I think little old me, they want to hear what I've got to say. You said it would be therapeutic and I find it has been slightly therapeutic and um, in case you haven't noticed I like to talk so it's been fun from that angle. I just hope that something good comes from it.